All right, so now that I've contacted the edge of the part, I'm gonna come over to the DRO. I'm gonna change the X axis, and I'm not gonna worry about the sign right now. I'll show you why in just a second. So I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna do 0.1, which is the radius of that edge finder. Hit enter, now let's do it again. So if we have an edge finder, the diameter is 0.2 inches, and the radius is 0.1 inches. What we're trying to figure out is where the center line of that edge finder is relative to the edge of the part when we make contact. So if we make contact, we know that this distance is equal to the radius, which is 0.1 inches. So now we know that if we have our edge finder centered on the edge of the part, we're starting from zero. So if we go in either direction, the absolute value of our coordinates will get bigger. So we're gonna use that knowledge to our advantage here. So now we found the edge of our part. We're gonna come over here and we're just gonna type in 0.1. We don't care about the direction right now. We're just gonna check what happens when we slowly move away from the part. So I just move the edge finder just a little bit away from the part and then I'm gonna come over here. So I moved away about 20 thousandths and you can see that our number, the absolute value of our number got smaller. So that tells us that we have our sign flipped. So now I'm gonna do it again. And this time I'm gonna type in negative 0.1. So now you can see when I move away, the absolute value gets bigger and I know I've got my direction right. 